Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for being on this journey with me. Um, I know it wasn't easy. You know, we're going through things step by step, you know, minute by minute. But we're going to make it through whatever is thrown in our path, we're going to be able to work with it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or just help tell me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or just good information that you needed to hear, you know, and also somebody else to hear at this time, you know, we all going through something, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you give me as well as I send towards you because it's all greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And y'all, like I said before, I know y'all probably getting tired of hearing me get like, Rosalyn, if you don't quit. But, you know, I'm, I'm doing this for my baby. Um, I, I'm going to put her website down for her. If you can check out her book. She's trying to get a donations down for her book. She got, I think, 21 days left uh, to get donations out. If you can, you know, contribute it anyway. I'll greatly be appreciated. You know, like I said before, she's uh, collaborating with different artists as well as uh, poets, you know, to put all this beautiful stuff together. And I can't wait to see, you know, get one of my baby's books. So thank you if you're able to do something. Even thank you anyway. But today, my video, um, my meditation video, um, uh, meditation music I'm listening to in the background is called uh, Cosmic Energy Healing. Expand your deep. Uh, your deep consciousness, spiritual awakening, meditation music. Girl, I've been picking out some really good meditation music that has really been helping me. And I know the last one, I think it was the last one or the one before that, it had my third eye like jumping. I'm like, it was like, woohoo! <laughs> you know, it was going at it. And I'm just like, as long as it don't make my head hurt, I'm good. You know, we can work with it. But um, y'all been having, y'all, I know y'all probably been dealing with a lot of headaches lately. I don't know about you, but I have. You know, like I tell y'all, please go ahead and drop me some lines. I would love to know that I'm not doing this by myself. Because sometimes y'all y'all give me a thumbs up, but y'all don't drop no comments. To let me know, am I going through this by myself? Every once in a while, I got somebody. You know, I appreciate y'all watching the videos. But, you know, let be open with me. Let me know that you're going, you're going what you're going through. Even if it has to be on one-on-one -on -one and you need to hit me up on the sidelines. It's all greatly appreciated. You know, like I tell y'all, if you need to get in touch with me, like via, you know, uh, email you can go into the my bio about or whatever it's called and it has my facebook you can look me up under on facebook under my name you can find me there where you can get in touch with me on messenger i might not you know do a friend request with you on my facebook but you can always get get with me on my um my messenger so, uh, but anyways, the video today, I'm doing Hayoka, uh, Twin Flame 101, Hayoka's, don't put your foot in the door of the past, but put your hand on the knob of the future. Yes. You know, I was like, hey, you know, I was thinking about that, and I'm like, you know what? I ask and I shall receive, you know, because I always ask universe, I want to keep going, I keep going. Please give me content that you need me to press out like right now, because I know so many of us is going through so many different things, you know, and it's like before... Oh, excuse me, before I was like, you know, I do videos on Wiccans, I do videos on Twin Flames, I do things on Hayokas, and I do things on Indigos, you know, I haven't did an Indigo video in a long time as well, INFJs, um, it, it's just like, because they, they'll tell me, okay, we love when you do this, but your main focus right now is these Hayokas, because there's so much they need to learn right now. So I said, okay, I'm cool with it, you need me to do this, I'll do that, I just, hey, I'm just a messenger. So, and it's just like a blessing when I can hear people say, Rosalind, it's like right before I get to, you know, going through something, you already putting it out just to let me know this is what I'm going to go through or, or you know, you, you're feeling that where your or your energy is heading towards. So, it's just like some of us, like I, I used to, you know, if people have been on one-on-one -on -one with me, I'm trying to turn this music down so I don't be blasting in y'all's ear, 
but uh you know um going through things sometimes we can go and experience situations that we hold on to and it's just like with me you know i'm a numbers girl like my dad say starfish and coffee I have an obsession with numbers. You know, if there's a number that constantly keeps reflecting to me, I need to go back and see what this is for. You know, go read about what, what this is about. So it's just like, you know, I kept on and I used to get frustrated and roll my eyes at the universe. They say, you better stop doing that. You know, and they tell me, oh, your blessing's on this way. I'm like, oh, whatever. You know, another door is closed and the other one's trying to open. I, I mean, that door was opening for my future. You know, good things was coming, but I was so busy worried about this past situation that I've been going through, you know, and focusing on that. And it's just like universe kept telling me, no, 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 you're not getting what we're doing. You know, just because that memory keeps popping up don't need me. You need to pay attention to it because it's just what ego. Ego is going to push, you know, uh, going to push towards stuff that, you know, ego doesn't like change. Ego, that'll freak you. That'll go into a, a, a nervous shock with ego ego is like no it'll keep pushing out negative stuff towards you when you're you're trying to evolve you're trying to change for the better because it's like ego doesn't like change you know if you've been stuck in a certain gloomy situation for so long you know when you finally say enough is enough it's gonna shake you up a little bit because there's sometimes you can be in that positive you know that positive mindset but it can just take that one little memory the trigger you went back off and you took 10 spaces back. I mean, I've talked to one-on-ones with people I'm very close to. And I'm, I get mad with myself because we can be talking about something. And it will be a certain situation will trigger me. And I'll start getting up in my feelings about that. And I said, you know what? No. No, I can't keep constantly doing that. Like I told y'all, I went on my little walk today. Got in touch with nature. You know, because if you get out in nature and you're really trying to meditate to find out, you know, what do I need to learn about myself? What do I need to change from? What do I need to heal from? You're going to get those answers. You might not like everything that they're going to tell you, but you have to be able to take that corrective criticism if you're trying to make it to the next level. It's like, you know, when certain we're, we're put in certain situations, it's not for us to keep dwelling on it all the time. If you're not allowing that situation to, you know, to bother you, it cannot affect you in that way that it did before, you know? It, it was just like, I'm, I'm in my narcissistic relationship. You know, I'm still in the house with the person I'm with. But, you know, uh, even though the memories would come back, I can't give that situation power no more because I'm not allowing that to mess with me no more. I'm trying to heal and go on about my life. I can't allow these things to keep going on with me. You know, you can wish them well. You know, don't wish anything hateful on folks, especially the ones that put you through stuff because it basically, even though you, you're not doing the things they did to you, but it doesn't make you any better if you keep being hateful towards them or whatever you know if they're disrespectful to you just say hey i'm not gonna let you disrespect me i'm not gonna allow you to bring me out my character and we will get tested like that you know universal put us in certain situations just to see if we're gonna you know we're gonna react to it the way we were you know i've gotten so many um so many uh messages from universe that has told me you know what you would be quick as soon as something you know it comes to you and it's attacking you you will be quick to snap off you know quick to pop off now it's just like it takes a lot you know cause especially if i know you're trying to pull my leg or trying to pull me out of character i'll tell you quick hey you ain't about to let i ain't about to let you do that you know if that's what you're here to do you might as well go on somewhere else because some people will come at me just to see if they can affect me you know because you might feel something in me that you you might be offensive off of that's not my problem that's a personal problem that's not don't have nothing to do with me you know I, I speak my truth and i hold on to that i stand my ground you know my truth is you know speaks many volumes to let people know you will go through things but you will constantly be tested just to see you know because when you can sit up here and say i'm not gonna allow this to affect me anymore okay we'll see you know, they really, you know, because universe wants you to grow from your situations. They want you to learn from your situations. So they will put something right in your path just to see, are you going to respond to it like you used to? Or are you going to do, you know, not not allow it to affect you? And there are so many times I've been put in situations and I was like, uh-huh, I knew y'all were testing me. I didn't go like y'all thought I was going to go. And they were like, okay, good. We didn't, we were hoping you wouldn't have, you know, you wouldn't have engaged into that situation like you did. So when you are knowing you have blessings coming towards your way, I mean, you can't really sit up here and, 
you know, you can work towards your future. But they don't want you worried about that because you put worried in it's like kind of like you, you, you have doubt that these things are coming for you. You have to be able to have that faith and believe these things are coming because I'm working towards that way. That's how you have to look at it. But you can't allow the past to keep coming in and out that door, that rotating door. You got to close it. Take your foot out that door of the past. You can't keep having your foot in that past and think you're going to head towards a bright future. You're not going to be able to, you're, you're messing up your own future when you keep worrying about stuff that has happened to you in the past. So you have to be able to let those situations go and know, you know what, I've been through some hell, but you know what, I've learned a lot from that. You know, and people tell me, Rosalind, you're so positive. Trust me, I want positive like this all the time. Trust me. I used to have a chip on my shoulder, felt like the world owed me something. No. The world don't owe you nothing. You have to work for that, you know, because it's like anything that I come for, nobody can ever sit up here and say, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have this. Or, you know, it's because of who she's related to is because what she, I don't earn every single thing. If anything I have gotten blessed with, it's because I worked my butt off for it. You know, they, nobody can say I got handed anything because nothing wasn't handed to me. A lot of people didn't want to help me just because who I was related to. A lot of people didn't want to get affiliated with me because who I was related to. But I used to get mad, but I understand, no, you need to be able to do this on your own. So it, it's just like when you know you have big blessings coming towards your way, your empath, you'll be able to pick up on those things. you probably get visions of things that's coming in your future. You already did it up there, but it just hasn't came down into the physical form yet. So when you're getting those visions of things that you know that's going on in the future, that's just basically, you know, um, what is it? Give, getting validation that these things are going to happen for you, but you have to work towards them. But the only way you can work towards those is learn from what has happened to you in the past and use that as a milestone and a stepping stone to be able to say, okay, this pain has really taught me something. It has made me grow. It has made me, you know, made me love myself more, make me respect myself more, know my worth in things that I did not know my worth in before. I'm not allowing my, you know, I'm not going to, have my foot in that past door no more because all it is is gonna constantly keep getting banged and when you too busy worrying about that daggone pain in your foot you gonna miss out on your door that's opening for the future so you know take your foot out that door of the past put your hand on that knob for the future because you have so many good blessings coming towards your way but you are not gonna be able to get a hold of them if you keep holding on to anger you keep holding on to things that what people did to you you're not gonna be able to get those things when you can let those people go, pray for them. Even if, I mean, they could have caused you so much hell, so much hell. Pray for them. You, you'll be amazed what prayer and you letting go will do. You can sit back and watch and, you know, how they say, you know, if, if you bless enough, God will allow you to see the things that's going to come off in their life. Don't laugh at it because you. I don't laugh at situations like that. I'm like, hmm, okay. And I just leave it alone. I said, girl, don't laugh. Don't do it. Even though you want to tickle inside. No, mm -mm, don't do that. Because you'll be amazed how God can put you right in a position to where they can laugh at you as well. Even if some, some folks do that, they do that. But don't, don't stoop to the level. You have big promising things coming to you. So work hard. Be strong. Have faith. Believe that you're going to get what you what is coming to you in the most blessed ways. And it's just that you'll be amazed at the things that you pray for. And when they see that you're working hard, they're going to double up. You're going to get something you weren't even expecting to get. So no, you know, put your hand on that knob of the future and take your foot out that daggone door of the past because it's your past. That's the reason why it's in the past, because it's not something you can go back to. So it's not going to be able to be changed. So be able to reflect on the things that's coming towards you and work towards that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love. I'm not going to say any, uh, you know, what, what ups. Because this long, this uh, this video is already too long enough, and it's already gonna take about four or five hours for this one to come out. So, uh, well, blessings to let me just say blessings to uh, Kenneth, blessings towards uh, Jessica, is also blessings blessings to Buse. Much love to you. All blessings towards your way. Send out as much love and light. Thumbs up, share, hit that notification button and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.